If you're a real estate investor and if you have any experience trying to find deals, you probably already know that it is possible to spend an unbelievable amount of time trying to follow up with leads, take people's phone calls, going back and forth with prospects. I mean, if you don't have some kind of mechanism in place to protect your time, like you'll end up wasting a ton of it, no questions asked. And when I first got into real estate, I was always told that really the way to find deals is to send out a bunch of mail or maybe put up bandit signs or something like that and then take calls one by one live as people call in. And then once you figure out what a good offer price would be, then you go ahead and send them an offer. And for me, I wanted to find a way to screen a lot of these calls so that I didn't have to touch base with every single person with my own time just so that I could make an offer and then have them turn it down. You know, I mean, given that this is a numbers game and a lot of people are going to say no to us, it's really imperative that before we start spending our own time, we find out we've got a serious seller on the line. And so what I did was I used my online cloud-based phone system to set up a two minute long voicemail message that would just screen callers as they responded to my direct mail pieces with my phone number on it. So basically they'd have to listen to a two minute long voicemail with me explaining why I sent them the letter, what kind of investor I am, and really qualifying this prospect before they were even allowed to leave me a voicemail. And what this did was, first of all, if somebody wasn't motivated to sell, there's a good chance they're gonna hang up and they're not gonna leave a message, which is fine with me. If they're not willing to listen to me talk for two minutes, that's okay, I don't need to follow up with them. It was also really effective at educating that caller so that I didn't have to regurgitate the exact same information hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times for every single person that called. They could just hear it from my pre-recorded voicemail message so that by the time we ever got on a one-on-one -on -one phone call, if that day ever came, they already heard that whole spiel. And I ended up creating a few different versions of this voicemail message because originally I would send out direct mail pieces telling people to call me, leave their information, and then I would call them back and we'd go back and forth. Then I kind of changed up my strategy to say, let's not talk on the phone, let's have you go to my website and submit your information there. And I still allowed people to leave me a voicemail if they wanted to, but I strongly encouraged them in that message to go to my website instead because that would make the process a lot faster for them and for me. And then eventually I started sending out blind offers and I came up with a special tailored voicemail message to catch those kinds of callers. So I really just had to create a few different versions of this voicemail message and it really has been pretty effective. I mean, to this day, I still get messages from people who listen to the whole thing. And by the time they leave a voicemail, they're educated about what's going on. They know what the situation is. And I mean, I have no idea how many thousands of hours this has probably saved me, but I know it's been a lot. And all I had to do was use these three voicemail messages whenever I'm sending out various kinds of direct mail. So what I wanted to do here in this video is first of all, show you how these voicemail messages integrate with my cloud-based phone system at ringcentral.com. And by the way, I've got an affiliate relationship with Ring Central. You can see a link beneath this video if you wanna go check them out. I do not think you have to use Ring Central to do this. Just wanna be totally upfront. Ring Central is the one that I'm using and that's why I'm showing you their website in this video. And I also wanted to make my exact voicemail scripts available to you if you wanna use these. And I've got a link beneath this video where you can check them out. And I've also gone so far as to find a couple of professional voiceover artists on Fiverr who I had read through each one of these scripts for me. So I've got a male voice version of it and a female voice version of it. And why did I do this? I did this so that if you want to use these in your own voicemail system, you can do that. Now granted, these professionally recorded versions are a little bit more generic. They're not gonna mention any specific websites or phone numbers or names or anything like that because obviously they're generic. But if you have some kind of phobia of getting on the phone yourself and doing this with your own voice, you can feel free to use these if you want them. And those are also gonna be included in this voicemail script package beneath this video. So feel free to check that out too. If you do decide to use these, just be sure to take a couple minutes to read through the script and think about what it's saying and listen to the voicemail message and just make sure you know what you're saying to your prospects because obviously I want you to be totally aware of what you're telling people before they actually leave you a message. So with that all out of the way, I'm gonna jump into Ring Central and just show you quickly, if you do use this system, 
This is how you can take these files and upload them to your Ring Central account and put them to work for you. So let's go dive into it. Okay, so now that we're in my account, I wanna just show you uh, how I have my extensions set up and really the most important extensions and phone numbers and the different ways that you could potentially set yours up as well. I've played around with mine a little bit over the years, depending on whether I want to answer the calls live or send them to a virtual receptionist or just have them go straight to voicemail. So uh, first of all, if you go right here, and this is from the home menu right up there, if you go to company greetings and call handling. So I have an automated greeting that plays. It doesn't ring at all when somebody calls my main number. They just hear this automated greeting like this. Hello, and thank you for calling. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. If you would like to find out more information about selling your property, it basically just goes on and lists off five different extensions that people can dial if they want to. And that's what I want to dive into right now. So if we go up here to users, so these are the five different extensions and you can see what the extension numbers are right over here. One, two, three, four, and five. I don't know why they're spread out in that order, but depending on why a person is calling my main uh, umbrella phone number for my company, they can decide where they want to go. And most of the calls that come in to my company come in because a person's either responding to a piece of direct mail I sent out or they're trying to buy a property from me and they want to call for more information. And that's what these two extensions are for. Postcard leads, this is actually for like any kind of direct mail I send out. If somebody wants to sell their property, they could hit extension one from my main number or the phone number that I put on all these direct mail pieces is this toll-free number right there. And it's actually blurred out in this video so you can't see it but that is a unique add-on number that I got in my ring central account so people can just call that number directly then they don't have to hit any extensions they can just follow the prompts as I have them set up through that number and that's what I want to show you right off the bat so if I go ahead and click on this so right off the bat if we click here on phones and numbers uh, you can see that number that I've assigned right down here so that phone number is basically assigned to this extension so a person could call the main number and hit the extension or they could just call the number that I put in here uh, if we go down here to screening greeting and hold music so whenever a person calls this number it doesn't ring at all it just plays a pre-recorded greeting that I've put together that very clearly explains why I sent them the mail what I'm trying to do what I want them to do whether or not it's even the right fit for them all this stuff and you can actually get a copy of this voicemail script if you're watching this on the land investing masterclass course you can download this for free if you're watching this on retipster.com you can buy these voicemail scripts directly from the blog I'm gonna have those scripts and some other goodies beneath this video if you want to check those out and again if you're watching this in the course you can download this directly from the lesson where you're watching this so if I'm using one of these pre recorded greetings when it comes here to screening greeting and hold music none of these boxes should be checked they should all just be totally empty and when it comes here to call handling and forwarding so this section should look like this with none of these things toggled on they should all be off and uh, then when it comes down here to messages this is where I have recorded and uploaded my voicemail greeting and we can listen to a few seconds of it right here. Hello and thanks for calling. My name is Seth and if you're hearing this message right now, you probably just received a letter from me in the mail with a cash offer to buy your property. So again, this is one of three different versions of this script that I use. This particular one is what I use when I'm sending out blind offers, but I don't always do it that way when I'm sending out more of a neutral letter or just an open invitation for somebody to call me back about selling their property my script reads a little bit differently but in any event whatever you want your greeting to say if you choose to go this direction what you can do here is you can click on this edit button and the way I have mine set up is it's a custom greeting which means I can record it either by having ring central call me and then I can like just say it over the phone or I can record it on my computer and edit it to perfection so I know it says exactly what I want to say there's not lots of like ums or silences in there so that was how I did it or you can also also hire like a professional voiceover artist from a site like Fiverr and have them read your script. And by the way, uh, I actually also have uh, some professionally read versions of my voicemail scripts as well as part of the voicemail package. So again, if you choose to buy that or download this from the course, you're going to get those audio files as well if you choose to use them. But if I did want to record my own version, 
I think for most people that actually is what I would recommend just because you can use your own tone of voice. If you ever do call people back, they're gonna recognize your voice from uh, the recording. Just kind of helps keep things more consistent. And uh, all you'd have to do is click this record button. And if you wanted to, uh, you could do it this way under phone, just put in uh, whatever phone number you want to have there and click call now. Then your phone would start ringing, and as soon as you pick it up, you'd have to start recording your greeting that way. Or you could click on computer microphone, and then it will prompt you on whether or not uh, Ring Central can use your microphone. Click allow, and then you can just start talking. And preferably, you would have a good microphone that you can talk into. Or you can go over here to importing, and this is where you could get that recorded audio file from the voiceover artist if you hired one. Or if you recorded your own version on your own computer, you could upload it here as well. And that's what I did. So that's how you can get your greeting imported right in here to ring central again mine's already there so i don't have to do anything here but uh, anyway this is scenario number one so if you want somebody to call your number it's not going to ring at all it's just going to immediately play your message this is how you'd want to have that set up however uh, there's also another way to do this and that is if you're using a virtual receptionist service like for example pat live is the one that i've used if you wanted to do that you'd have to set this up a little bit differently uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to delete anything under messages here. Instead, you would go up here to, uh, first of all, screening, greeting, and hold music. And uh, where it says audio while connecting, I check this because uh, the way I have it set up is when a person calls my toll-free number associated with this extension, it's gonna take a couple seconds for the system to connect with the number that I'm trying to forward it to, which in my case would be Pat Live's number that they've assigned to me. And during those few seconds as it's trying to connect, I don't want my callers to just hear total silence and think that they've been dropped or something. So that's why I have it play uh, some kind of sound just so they realize you know it's in process you haven't been hung up on just hang on and uh, you can do like music like this so that's one option what I do though is I just go to ringtones right here so I set the audio to ringtones and that's pretty straightforward it sounds no different than the normal ringtone they would normally hear as the phone is ringing so that's the first thing i do i'm going to go ahead and save this and then the next step is to go down here to call handling and forwarding and uh, this actually got me a little confused the first time i tried to set this up because it wasn't behaving the way i thought it was supposed to i had to get help with uh, customer support so one way theoretically that this is supposed to work is uh say it right here i've got my own personal phone number set right here so this is like my mobile device that i have in my pocket and if i wanted it to ring on my phone before it goes to any other voicemail message or anywhere else i could hit this toggle switch and turn it on like that and if i wanted it to then go to my virtual receptionist if i did not answer the phone i could also hit the second one and because i have this set up here as sequentially instead of simultaneously it's going to first start by ringing my phone for four rings or 20 seconds if I don't answer, then it's gonna get forwarded to my virtual receptionist, Pat Live, and then they will answer. Or of course, if I just didn't want it to ever ring my phone and just go straight to my virtual receptionist, I could turn this off and as you can just see, it just uh, moved down here. And now just right off the bat, it's gonna ring for four rings or 20 seconds to my virtual receptionist. But again, like I said, when I tried to set this up the first time, it wasn't working for me and I couldn't figure out why. And when I talked to customer service, they gave me an easy workaround so that it would work all the time. So if you're experiencing the same issue I was, one way you can sort of override that is to go over here to custom rules. And we're gonna go ahead and save our changes before we go there. And uh, what we're gonna do is add a rule. And we're just gonna call it my rule one, doesn't really matter what we call it. And then next, so we're going to check this for called number, and we're going to select the number uh, from the list of numbers in my account. And this is the toll-free number that they would normally be calling. So anytime a person calls that number, so that's uh, selected, and then we'll click next. And then we're gonna go down here and check unconditional forwarding. And we're going to put in that number for my virtual receptionist so that no matter what happens, if anybody calls this number, it's going to get forwarded here, regardless of the other rules I may have set up already. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, now when we go over here to user hours again, so really whatever we have in here, it almost doesn't even matter anymore because the custom rule, that's what's going to happen. 
So anyway, it should work just set up like this. But just so you know, if you try to set it up and if it's just not working for you the way that you're trying to make it work, head over there to the custom rules and tell it that way to do whatever you want. And also, by the way, in case it wasn't already obvious, however you choose to set this up, always, always, always test it. Call the number yourself. Make sure it's actually doing what you think it's going to do. The last thing you want to do is spend a bunch of money on marketing of some kind, thinking that something will happen when people call a certain number, but then it doesn't happen because you didn't test it and you didn't make sure that it actually works. So I had to test mine a number of times before I finally got it right. Whatever you're trying to do, whether you want it to plan automated greeting or get forward somewhere or ring on different phones sequentially until somebody picks up, test 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 to make sure it does the right thing and also uh in terms of this thing over here where it says after hours so i'm actually not using this functionality for this particular number because it doesn't really matter what time a person calls me it's always going to take them to the same place but i do have this setup over here on my other extension and toll-free number for my sales department so i'm going to show you that really quick and the sales department this is basically the toll-free number that goes on any property listings or any promotional effort that I use to get a property sold. They don't call my main number. They don't call my acquisitions number where they're gonna hear some message about buying their property because that's not why they're calling. They're gonna call a separate number uh, for a separate reason. So over here, the way I have this set up is under call handling and forwarding, what I want it to do first off is ring on my phone during the hours that I'm available. And if I don't answer, then it will play a voicemail greeting where they can leave a message. But if it's during the hours that I want to be available, I can actually get the call on my own phone and answer the questions that way. And in order to do it that way, you have to set up your business hours. So if we click on this, after hours so this basically says that you know in the hours when i am not available send people directly to voicemail so for example if somebody calls at three in the morning or any time when i don't want to be available to talk they're going to hear this message right here hello and thank you for calling at the tone please leave your name phone number and a good time to reach you along with any questions about the property that interests you uh, however, if they're calling during business hours, uh, that's where I can go up here, click on user details. And then if I go over here and click on settings and permissions, so where it says user hours, you'll see it says custom. That's because I've set up custom hours. So if I click on edit here, so what I've done here is I've established which hours of the day I am available to take calls on each day of the week. And again, this is just me. You could set this up however you want to do it, if you want to do it at all. Uh, the easy way would just to say, yep, I'm available 24-7, call any time. But if you want to get super specific, you can do this custom hours thing. And again, uh, just because you are available during custom hours doesn't mean you have to answer the phone. Because as you can see down here, again, under call handling and forwarding, it's going to ring in my personal phone number for like 30 seconds. But if I don't answer, then it's just going to move on down here to the message that I have here to play. And people can just leave a message that way. And that does end up happening a lot. And also one other thing that I've always found really helpful, and I have it set up this way on both my uh, sales department extension and my postcard leads extension is... Right over here under notifications, I like getting emails letting me know anytime I've, I've received a fax or gotten a voicemail or anything like that. And you can do that over here under each extension. Go over here to notifications, click this messaging notifications button, and you'll see that I want to be notified by email anytime I get a voicemail message, receive a fax, fax transmission results. So this is if I'm sending a fax, it's going to email me to let me know, yep, it's all good. It went through or then uh, received text messages as well. I'll also get an email notification on that. And I could get a notification about missed calls, but that would send me a whole lot of emails, so I don't have that one checked. And it's pretty much the same thing over here on the acquisition side, those same notification settings are set up. Anyway, uh, I hope this is somewhat helpful. I know Ring Central, for somebody who's never been in the uh, back end portal admin section, uh, it is a little confusing just in terms of where you go to do what, but once you sort of know where things are at, it gets a lot easier. So I just thought I would show you the most pertinent details that matter the most to me and my business in terms of how I have things set up. There may be other things that you need to know that I just uh, don't explain here, but I think this will probably cover at least 80% 
of what uh, you need to know. So if you're not already a Ring Central user, we do have an affiliate link with Ring Central at retipster.com forward slash Ring Central. If you choose to sign up through that, thank you very much. And if you're a real estate investor specifically and you want to see how my voicemail scripts are set up, you can also get like actual audio files of them in case you want to use those. This is what you're going to get if you decide to buy that or download it for free if you're getting this from the course. You just hear a quick example of what these sound like. Hello and thanks for calling. If you're hearing this message right now, you probably just received a letter from me in the mail. I'm really glad you took the time to read that letter. So I've got it in a female voice, a few different versions of it. Hello, and thanks for calling. If you're hearing this message right now, you probably received a letter from us in the mail with a cash offer to buy your property. And then uh, a male voice as well. Hey there, thanks for calling. If you're listening to this message right now, you probably just found our website online or received a letter from us in the mail. I'm then this... Hello, and thanks for calling. If you're hearing this message right now, you probably just received a letter from us in the mail with a cash offer to buy your property. So anyway, you're certainly welcome to come up with your own script and record your own version. I just know it took me a ton of time to get mine all ironed out and sounding good and saying the right stuff so that people would actually listen to the whole thing and actually leave me a voicemail. It's actually a little bit harder than it, than it seems. But anyway, uh, you're welcome to use that if you think that would be helpful. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you again soon.